spent a lot of time with Randy Etzel. What, right. what, what made you feel like this was the time to, to make the jump and why this particular jump? Well, I spent a little time with Joe Moorhead also in uh, 2009 and 10, and I think uh, we accomplished some good things when we worked together. So uh, I kept in touch with Joe, you know, over the years. Uh, obviously, I went to other places and uh, did some pretty good things. He, he moved on to, you know, Fordham and Penn State and did some pretty good things. And uh, we've always talked about this day in terms of, uh, you know, getting back together and working together. So uh, here I am. How has his offense evolved from from then to, to now? Does it seem like he kind of developed who he was as a play caller at Fordham and Penn State? Um, I would say we still do, you know, a lot of the same things, you know, but uh, obviously the terminology has changed and, the, you know, there's a little window dressing here and there. But for the most part, he's still the same guy, you know, and then, Obviously, as defenses uh, change and evolve and they do different things, you got to adjust from an offensive standpoint also. So, You were brought in pretty quickly uh, when, when the vacancy happened and things. <laughs> had he talked to you in the past before he – when he was originally hired here, uh, you know, at some point? Had, had uh, there been – I know you said you all talked about maybe yeah, getting the band uh, back together uh, at some point. Again, from, from the time uh, after the Fiesta Bowl when I left UConn, and I went to University of Miami. Me and Joe, we stayed in contact over the years. I mean, we wouldn't talk like once a week or once a month, but every now and then, you know, we would uh, we would reach out to one another and uh, you know, you know, talk and just talk about this day in terms of uh, hey, if he ever got in a situation where, you know, um, he used the terminology, hey. Uh, I know to uh, to get the man, I got to pay the man. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know, we finally got to that point where he, you know he had a he had a spot open, and uh, you know he called me up, and obviously it uh, with our relationship, it didn't take me long to think about things, and uh, you know I coached in a lot of different conferences, uh, it, it, except the SEC, so that was kind of intriguing also. So, yeah. um, you know, that's why I'm here. What are your impressions of what you're inheriting with Nick and Kyle back there? Great kids, uh, very talented. Uh, you know, I'm excited about those two. Uh, I think the biggest thing, uh, I don't have any concerns about the position, uh, but in terms of just getting our numbers up to, you know, f you know, to the scholarship numbers that we need. Right now, we just got two scholarship guys in the spring and uh, two guys coming in. But I don't want to slight, you know, the guys that are here, you know, like Robert Rivers and Alec Murphy that moved over from a uh, linebacker, the guys that are here working hard to earn a spot on the team. I mean, you know, they're important also. So uh, I'm excited about spring ball. Look forward to digging my hands into these guys and just getting them better.